everyone, welcome to Adventures in Everyday Cooking, where every day can be an adventure in your kitchen. My name is Heather, and if you're new here, welcome. This channel is all about adventuring in new ways. Speaking of adventures, today is a good one. Um, so a couple weeks ago, you may remember me having a conversation with myself about sugar and maybe Nadia Hussein's recipe. Yeah, guess what arrived in the mail? Oh, Marmite. Um, I have literally never tried it. It's not even opened yet, so I will try it here on camera. And we are gonna make Nadia Hussein's Nadia Hussein's um, meatloaf roll. She said it's like a beef Wellington and Scotch egg all in one. It's supposed to be a really quick recipe, so I'm excited to try it because it's almost time for dinner. Let's get started. So here's another little thing. They sent me two not just one. I'm pretty sure I'm only gonna need one for all of my life, but you never know. When I open it, it might be the best thing ever and I'll want to eat it all, but chances are I have another jar up for grabs. So if you think that you wanna use it and try this recipe or even try a different recipe, let me know in the comments below and I will pick someone to send it to. But you have to be willing to share with me your address. So keep that in mind as well. Okay, so I already have all of our ingredients all ready for us because I think that this is gonna be a quick, easy video and we're gonna have fun doing it. So let's get started. Okay, first of all, we need a pound of lean beef. So this is a 97-3 mixture. Um, sausages, she said six sausages taken out of their skins, but I don't know how much six sausages is. I watched her video and I'm just, I just went with a pound. So I got a pound of already seasoned sausage in here. Um, we are gonna add to it one teaspoon of chili flakes and a dried parsley because I didn't have any fresh parsley today. Um, we are also going to add one teaspoon of salt and one medium, no, one small, finely chopped onion. Now, I, I think my onion was medium, so I'm not gonna do all of this, but I did already chop it because I did, you know, how, you know how to chop an onion, right? And plus, I wanted to get this in the oven. So we'll just, we'll call that small. All right, so we preheated our oven to 400 degrees or 200 Celsius, and we are gonna put everything into a bowl that I just put, including garlic too, is it garlic? Yep, including the garlic. And I will link the recipe in the comments below, um, but I'm not gonna give the amounts at the moment just because I wanna get through it for you. Um, and breadcrumbs. And if you're gluten-free, put your gluten-free breadcrumbs in. Although then you can't use puff pastry. So uh, this is not a gluten-free recipe and it cannot be made a gluten-free recipe unless you can do puff pastry gluten-free, which they might have gluten, I don't, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't looked yet. So now here comes the disgusting part. We are going to Need this with our hands. I really don't want to do this. Bing! I've got gloves. <laughs> uh, we have gloves, not from a coronavirus. We actually had a litter of puppies a few years ago um, that I required gloves because we had some six puppies. So these are left over from that experience, which I don't recommend having a litter of puppies ever. It is a ton of work. It's like I had postpartum for like six months after, not even joking. Okay, let's get into it. All right, so what we're gonna do is we are going to, oh, uh, whoa, that, that was an, I haven't, oh, I, I oh, smells really good, but I have not put my hands in mince meat or beef 
um, ground beef or ground meat in a really long time. Usually I use a um, wooden spoon, but since I'm following Nadia's recipe, she specifically said, use your hands. So I am going to use my hands because I may be rebellious, but I like Nadia. She's, she's super cute. And I love her recipes. It, it, she has a new show on Netflix called Time to Eat. And uh, I have really enjoyed watching her make her recipes. And usually, besides the Marmite thing, um, everything else is pretty much pantry staples for me, which is so... Rude, that camera died again. Gotta get a better battery. All right, what was I saying? Um, her recipes use pantry staples, yes. And I think that is, I said terribly wonderful. It is really wonderful. I, and wonderfully awesome, terribly awesome. It is, it is awesome. Um, because I feel like sometimes recipes that I want to make um, have things that I can't find or that are, you know, like specialty items. It's so silly that I'm saying this because I'm about to use Marmite. That's kind of a specialty item. I mean, I mean, you can fi probably find it other places besides in Europe, but um, yeah, I the other recipes she's done, really, I, I, I've seen some really great ones. Okay, so enough chit chat. Lay two lengths of clean film on your worktop, one overlapping the other. Turn mixture, meat mixture onto it and pat with damp, damp hands. Line up hard boiled eggs. Meanwhile, roll out the pastry, roll out the pastry, roll out the pastry. Oh, okay. All right. So I didn't read that stuff earlier, but I <laughs> guess we're done with that for right now. And we will grab our cling film right down here. Where's the Rat Master 3000 when you need it? All right, we are going to put the meat there and we are gonna make it into a rectangle. So here we go, a rectangle. Good thing I passed uh, kindergarten. Although they almost held me back because I could not, did not have much self-control. Uh, weird. I was rebellious as a kindergartner too. How big? How 12 by 10, 12 by 10. I may have to go get a ruler to make sure that this is big enough. Ruler required. Okay, so 10 by 12. So that is nine and that is 11. So one more inch on all sides. All right. Now here's where it turns into a scotch egg. Scotch egg is sausage wrapped around a hard boiled egg. So crazy cakes, we have hard boiled eggs. Okay, so it says put the five eggs in here, end on end. So here we go, end on end. And I, these are eggs that I boiled yesterday. Well, actually I didn't boil them. I put them in the Instant Pot with my, um, Put them in the Instant Pot with my, I can't even, I can't even think. What did I put them in there with? My potatoes. I made potato salad. So I knew I was making this today. And so I put them in with my potatoes salad because you put the potatoes already cut into the Instant Pot. You put in your water and then you put your eggs on the top and they all go for four minutes. And then you have your hard boiled eggs for the potatoes and for this. So anyway. Okay, I think this is right. I don't think it goes this way. Although now that I'm putting it that way, uh-oh. No, no. I'm sure it goes this way. Sure of it. Let me just look at my pastry here. Oh, hmm. Okay, 
problem with American pastry is they made it way smaller. Roll out the pastry, roll out the pastry. <sighs> All right. So the directions say to line up hard boiled eggs, create large sausage shape. Okay, here we go. Oh, that was easier than I thought it would be. But now that I'm looking at this, I super hope that I'm doing it in the right direction. Oh well. I committed. I'm going with it. I'm going with it. Okay, so now I'm going to pinch in the ends so that we have it all encased, just like so. Okay, and then pull that back out again because we have to wind it up like a big sausage roll. I don't know what I'm doing. I've only seen her make it twice. I may have watched it twice, maybe three times, but hers didn't quite look the same. There we go. Look at that. Now it says to put it in the refrigerator while I do my pastry. Roll out the pastry, roll out the pastry. Huh. Although my pastry's already cut, so maybe I'll just leave it out. Remember I'm rebellious, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm a little nervous. I've actually never used puff pastry before in my life. So this is going to be a first time for me and we're just going to hope that, oh, it's stuck. I'll hope that stitching it together right here in the middle will be okay. Gosh, I'm just a little worried. Roll out the pastry. I do have, I do have more puff pastry in the refrigerator, or freezer rather. So maybe if this is not big enough, I will grab it out. All right, okay. So I need to crack this egg inside of this bowl know that much. Grab a fork and we are going to seal this together. I should just use my finger. Seal this together just like this. Maybe I will take, I'll just crimp it just a little bit because <laughs> I don't know. It's my first time in puff pastry. Okay, I'm not a math major, but I'm pretty sure that's gonna be too big. Roll out the pastry. <sighs> Y'all, maybe I can just, I don't know. I don't know. Hands washed, let's open our Marmite. There we go. Oh! That's, uh, what, what does that remind me of? Actually, I don't, I don't know why people have a problem with that. It, it smells like, I mean, obviously it's yeast extract, but it smells a bit like just bread. Like, am I wrong? It's possible that I'm wrong. Um, so we're gonna need three tea teaspoons of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put three teaspoons of this into my bowl here. It's sticky and I am gonna taste it. Just give me a second to work up to it because the color is a little off-putting. And then I'm going to put in a teaspoon of warm water as well. And we're just gonna mix it up because we are actually going to put this on the dough as a little, just a little bit of something, something. She said it just, whoops. It just gives it that little extra flavor that it needs. So we're gonna, we're gonna try this. 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and try it with a clean knife. Just gonna try a teeny tiny bit. Woo! That is strong stuff. Oh, I don't hate it. But, woo, it is strong. Uh, Nadia says she has this on toast. That is strong, 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 strong stuff. Like, holy smokes, that's strong. Woo. All right, well, I don't recommend eating it straight, but there is a flavor there that I think uh, is gonna be complimentary. So we'll see, okay. So this is what we have to do. We have to paint our pastry with Marmite, leaving the edges open so that it can seal together with when we, when we shut it. So when she made this on the Netflix show, she actually hand molded it instead of doing it this way. I wonder if I would have, I wonder, I wonder if I would have did it by hand and just did one and one, you know, like did, I don't know. Okay, here we go. It's the moment of truth. Our big sausage meat log is going down. And she said to put it not in the middle, but on the end so that you can fold the pastry over it, which makes a lot of sense. And now we are going to, she said, use the parchment to help roll it around. Wah, wah, wah. All right. Um, I do not have enough pastry. So let me think real quick what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. Okay, I've decided. I am just going to trim off some of the excess on the ends um, somehow. And I'm going to do some doctoring because it'll take 40 minutes for the other one to defrost. And I don't have that kind of time. My family needs dinner. See, that'll work. That'll work. It'll be fine. I just might have goopy ends. Was I supposed to put it the other way, maybe? Oh, Heather, the reason you don't have enough pastry is because you were supposed to roll it out. You even said so. And you didn't. Don't be like Heather. Roll out your puff pastry. No, I think it was just, they were the same size. They were squares. So. It wasn't my fault. It was just, okay. All right. So now that we have our roll in here, let's, <laughs> I don't know. I'm making this up as we go along. I don't know how this is gonna work. Lord be with me as I, Stitched together. Was I supposed to roll this stuff out? Oh. I was supposed to roll this, but it wasn't supposed to be used straight out of the package. Oh dear. Well, no wonder it didn't fit. Oh dear. Well, that's gonna be a lot of pastry. Okay, we're just gonna go with it. I'm just gonna stretch this one out though because now this one will fit. Oh my goodness. I, how did I skip that step? Okay, well, that's, I, yeah. Okay, so what am I doing here is I am just putting egg on the edges, right like that, and I'm gonna roll my pastry right onto it, and I will make that that seam my bottom so that maybe stuff won't come out. Um, now my sides, mm, yeah, there's Marmite all over them, but I should be able to get 
the sides crimped down, right? Right. Oh, this is a mess. Yeah, there's Marmite sticking out. That one's just gonna bust out. <sighs> Will this actually make it as a video? Let's hope so. Let's hope the flavor is so fantastic and that you've learned a ton because you were supposed to roll out the pastry dough. And I probably only needed one sheet to roll out to the right size. What do you think? Think that's what it meant? Think that's what I was supposed to do? I think so. Okay, well, that is the best that it's going to get. Um, I may try to crimp the bottom right over here. Let me turn it so you can see. <laughs> see my little pocket over here? It's gonna just squish out like something you wouldn't believe. Let's see if I can just, I have an idea. We'll make it a little belt. Look at that. Make it a little seatbelt, a little girdle. We'll put a little girdle on there. Whoops. We'll put a Gertie. We'll call it Gertie the Meatloaf. Whatever. We're going with it, man. We're rolling with the punches because this, this is how it works in my kitchen. We try things, we do things wrong. We say, oops, we learn, we move on. So girdle time for this side and I don't have any more dough. So if that one pops open, just have to go with it. All right. Phew. That was something else. Okay. Now we are going to cover it with egg wash. All right. Yep. It's about how this recipe is going right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm determined to finish this and have it be amazing. And place on the baking tray and put into the preheated oven for one hour. There's no way I can use the parchment. The parchment is just filled with egg. So I am going to cut off most of the egg that I messed with. Ta-da! And I'm gonna grab my baking tray and I'm going to put some silicone on it because I don't want it to stick. So I'll put a silicone baking mat down and we are just gonna hope that this transfers. You ready? Oh, look at that. Oh, hallelujah. All right, Gertie the meat roll is going in for an hour. We'll see you back here in about an hour. It has just come out of the oven. And uh, wow. So um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I was supposed to roll it out thinner than that. Totally okay. Um, I'll know for next time. My seam obviously had a little issue there. You can definitely see where my seam is. But my little girdies stayed together. All of the leakage came out of the center bit. So I don't know. Well, I'm going to just go ahead and cut it right down that center line to start with. Ooh, nice and crispy. All right. And then I'll just cut maybe here. Ready? Look at that. Hard to cut pastry without. Luckily, I'm using a very sharp knife. Okay, are you ready to see? Dun da da! Look at that! Wow! Wow! That's pretty cool. Now for the taste test. So let's lift that off the plate. Look at that. Okay. Okay, here we go. Time for the taste test. Ooh, nice and crispy. All right, here we go. A little hot. Mmm. Oh. 
That's pretty good. Wow. That is nothing I've ever tasted before. I'm gonna try it again. Mmm. You guys, I think this is a good recipe. This is really good. Um, <clears throat> other than the fact that my puff pastry is a little thick because I didn't roll it out like a good girl. Um, the flavor of the mixture and the egg and even the Marmite, it all works together. And you can taste that little bit of hot chili pepper, just a little bit. I was a little worried that it was gonna be really spicy. I'm okay with spices, obviously, I eat Indian food, but I was kind of worried that it was too gonna be too spicy and maybe I need to back off a little bit, but I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go for it, I'm gonna put it in, it's gonna be good. This is really a phenomenal flavor. The flavors are mature, so um, if you have a child who likes food and likes to adventure, this would be a good recipe for them. And it'd be really fun to make it with them because it was relatively easy to make. I mean, it took me like 10 minutes to throw it together and had I actually rolled out the pastry, I don't know. It, the directions said it would take an hour to cook. Mine took about 45 minutes, um, but that's because I have a smaller oven. My, it was my top oven, not my bottom oven. That tends to cook a little faster. Um, so I just stuck a thermometer in it and made sure that my sausage was up to about 160-ish and then took it out and I'm impressed. I'm so impressed. I'm gonna eat the whole thing. That's really good. I mean, I would probably, I will probably make this again for my parents. I would probably make it again for other people. Um, it's a beautiful piece. I might cook it on a wire rack or something because there is a lot of juice on there. But this is a win. This is a good recipe. Thank you, Nadia. Um, I'm excited that this has gone into my own personal recipes that I will use on a somewhat regular basis. I mean, obviously there's so many foods out there, but this is good enough that if I had to make it again, because this video didn't work out, I would not be sad. Mm. Mm. Seriously, that's good. That's really good. All right, you guys. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share it with your friends, and by all means, if you want this Marmite unopened in your mailbox, Leave me a comment below, and if more than one person wants it, I will just have to do a random selection. But if you buy it, you are sealed into the deal that you have to try this out too. Because now that I've tasted it, you're not going to be sorry. It's really that good. All right, you guys. Well, we'll see you next time on our next adventure. Bye.